This is another episode of Kelly's Outdoor Adventures, the RV Drifters. In this video, it's going to be one of those how-to videos or more of how I did it videos on a window blind repair. And here at Kelly's Outdoor Adventures, we make it easy to follow our channel. Just scan the QR code with your iPhone and makes it easy to subscribe. It's free. We travel willy-nilly style in our F-250 truck we call Willy and our RV sports truck travel trailer we call Nilly. And I will be making this repair outside on a card table. This video is not going to show the removal from the wall or the reinstallation. That's going to vary from camper to camper. This is just going to be the repair of the blind itself. And this is just a common uh, window blind that you see on a lot of RVs. So we're going to figure out how to fix this together. And so with YouTube University and a repair kit and a set of instructions, the tools that they say we need and a cup of coffee. Now it's time to sit down and try to figure this out. Okay, so I'll, according to the instructions, I have version one, nightshade only with two cords. <clears throat> so this is, this is what I have. And this is the instructions. That's it. One and a half pages, just what you see in green. For version one so makes it look really simple but I don't know we'll get started okay so let's take a small screwdriver so step one is to take a small flathead screwdriver and pop out the end caps on the top and the bottom on both sides of the blind So throughout the process, you always want to look at everything before you do disassembly, just because so, you know that's the way it's got to go back together. And the top and the bottom of the blinds just have little slide rails. You just slide them off. Right there. And we'll repeat the process on the top. Here's our finding at the top. So here's the little spring. Here's the little spring right here. And it looks like the cord broke just at, at the top. So I'm guessing it broke right at that hole. It probably that was a rub point because if this is supposed to be right in the middle, Yeah, that's most likely where that broke. So we'll have to pull this out, re untie that, put a new one in, which we'll get out of here, and then we'll do our restring. So I was thinking out loud, uh, I know I should probably change both sides, but uh, only one side's broke. You know, that old famous, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So do I just replace the one cord or do I do both? I go ahead and replace the one that's not broke just because the assumption is it's probably And there was absolutely nothing wrong with the spring, and uh, really is nothing wrong with the other side too. Just appeared to be a rub spot on the uh, on the one side. And since I had the, uh, the two pieces completely out now, I should be able just to put the two pieces together, get a measurement, and know exactly the length that I needed for the uh, replacement string. 
So the repair kit came with uh, five strings, and uh, each string is actually 20 feet in length. Um, I wasn't going to use anywhere near that. In fact, I was only going to use half of one of them. So we'll have uh, we'll have the repair kit in case we have to do this with other blinds in the future. And in my measurement, I just wanted to make sure I had about one foot extra because I needed to be able to have room to tie the knot. And after I had the piece cut, I took one end and tied it to the uh, spring. And I did a double knot, and then I hesitated, and I went ahead and did a triple knot just because I don't trust my, my knot tying skills. And that's one thing the instructions didn't point out. Was there a special type of knot? Um, I guess they just assume you know how to put it together and tie a knot. They just said to tie it. And using the scissors, I cut the excess string off the end. I think now what we're supposed to do is go down through this hole in the top and we have to feed this all the way through the pleats to the bottom and then pull all the extra out. So I won't bother you with that. We'll probably fast forward this section. I bet you Collapsing all the way down there, nice and tight. Okay. Yeah, I thought this was going to work, but uh, it didn't. I need. I would have needed some type of a, uh, like a three or four inch needle. And I'm going to have to do each one of these pleats individually. Uh, I just don't have the tools, the equipment. Um, so, yeah. There's the first one. And I tend to be all thumbs. Okay, there's the second one. Let's get the first one. Let's pull it all the way through. Yep. Let's see if we can't bring you in here a little bit closer to watch some of this. Okay. I'm sure if we had the proper tools, we could have just kind of shoved this from top to bottom, I had them all pinched together, but I didn't, and I tried it, and I was not su successful. So we're doing these one pleat at a time. Okay. Thank goodness this is not a one of the big tall ones. This is actually one of the smallest ones in the camper. So, okay, so we're getting it slowly, 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 slowly. to the bottom now. Mm -hmm. The neighbor's dog over there is barking. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. But these people and their various dogs in these campgrounds think it's cute when their dogs bark because they think they're just talking. And isn't that cute? It's often very annoying and distracting, but there we go. Okay, so there we go. We've got that one all the way through there. And let's 
put this up on top and we want this spring to be somewhat close to the middle pull these guys down I am not going to replace the other spring that's probably famous last words this one crisscrosses at the bottom on this side so this one will crisscross over here to this side and there's my end cap and the piece that connects to the wall so I need to take the broken piece up with the end cap there it is and the piece that has broke so there's this end cap this end cap the extra one goes up here at the top and again before I slide this top in I want to make sure that this spring is right in the middle That spring is in the middle. And we'll keep it right. That is ready to go there. And I can put my screws in. I can go ahead. Um, I don't know why ours only had one end cap at the top, but it's behind the ballast, so it doesn't matter. And the one that was missing was, was the one that would have been up against the wall. So my guess is that was just a cost reduction. Let's lose one end cap, says the manufacturer, and we'll save two cents on this $55,000 RV. So I'm glad that they saved their two cents. Okay, so you see how that has to thread through there? And that's got to go through there. So, I need to duplicate that. Right here. So, the old one that's broke, i got to take that and that off and thread the new one in. So, let's get that done. Okay, so we first off, we pull this out and we put that. I don't have much of a fingernail here, so let's put that through there, and there's that. Okay, so we got that part done. Now, now we need to duplicate this. So you see how that goes in, over and out, and then a knot tied. I'm a little bit afraid about tying that knot until I get that portion put back in the wall because I need to have that exact correct length. Okay, so we'll pull that out. We will pull use that to pull that out. Okay. Now we go we go from the inside. This one's, this one's going to be a little bit more challenging than any of the others in that that looks like that's at a slight angle. So I've got to get that. I can't hit that straight on. I don't know. This one's, I'm going to recut that just so I have a nice 
freshened and remember I have almost two feet extra cord on here so I can afford there we go that worked out well and then we'll string that back in there like that okay see how that works and then we'll take this and we'll tie a knot in this end again and again these guys seem to be really good with their knots I'm just not <laughs> Not as good as a not tire. Did you get that? Like, would that classify as a dad joke? I'm not a good not tire. Okay. I'm going to do my double knot thing again here. Okay. Now, I'm not going to pull this up any further because I know that when I go to get this installed inside this is going to have to be adjusted to just the right length and I'm going to do that once I get this back attached to the wall so for right now I know that this knot is not going to let that fall through this is where it needs to be so I can take that drape that over that side take this drape over this side so that they crisscross here at the bottom, which is exactly what they're supposed to do. So I think what I can do now is reassemble the top portion and the bottom portion. And we'll, we'll be ready to go. This one is much, much longer because I haven't adjusted it. This is the new cord. Now I am going to pull this top one back off. because I want to make sure that my spring stayed right in the middle and it moved a little bit. So we'll pull that just enough, there we go, that we're comfortable with that being in the middle. And what I'm doing here is, that's up, I got the gap in there just about right, remember the one on this corner comes through crosses over and down and I got right on the edge here so the one on this side comes down crosses over and comes down this is the new cord that I just put in so what I need to do is shimmy this up to about there and then retie that knot now again it's not going to be perfect but uh, we're going to get that done It'll, it'll be, hopefully that'll be within a, a half inch or so, maybe even less. Hopefully it's perfect, but you know, it, nothing I do is going to be perfect. Um, but let's, uh, let's do that. And then we'll slide this up. We'll retie it. extra I had put on there. So I'm going to slide that up. I might not break right it. See how that works. Okay, I think I'm, I don't think I got enough. I think I need to move that up a little bit more. Collapse this. Collapse that. One more time, I'm going to slide this top off to see where that, and it did move again, so. That's actually not too bad. That distance and that distance isn't too bad. 
So I'm going to leave that knot right where I've got it. Right there. Um, it can, and I'm going to leave this on here. I can knot and tie that and do all that. So this is going to be my adjustment. So that is how you restring a uh, an RV blind and now all I have to do is go back in put the bolts in at the top or the screws in at the top install this connect down here at the bottom on both sides should go right back into the wall where it came out um, and let's just hope that everything turns out good I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful